Before you go, subscribe, like and comment. Click the bell if you want notifications of new episodes. Line up square behind the rifle. Also line up square against the target. I believe by now all of you should be familiar with the long range proficiency test. One bullet, one target, one minute, one attempt. Let's see how it goes, okay? Now, the purpose of this one shot is of course to make sure that you can set up your gear and make a killing shot within a reasonable time. Hunting opportunities don't exist for a very long time. But, basic marksmanship isn't enough. You need to also have a fundamental understanding of ballistics. And I'll show you the mistake right now. So what the Kestrel tells me is that we have significantly higher air pressure and we have significantly warmer weather. Now, the higher temperature is going to push the bullet up, and the higher pressure is going to push the bullet down. Now, and from looking on the turret, I know that we have almost two significance, two steps due to pressure, and one step due to temperature. So to dial correctly, I shouldn't have dialed 515 meters, but I would add five meters for each significant step. Now that's two steps up because of the pressure. 515, 520, 525. And then we have the temperature working in the opposite direction. So I can take off another one and I'm back to 520. So if I would have dialed 520, one more click, that would have been a perfectly centered hit on that target. Now, we'll do this exercise again, and we'll do it on the ballistic bar, or the water bar, or whatever I should call it, at 582 meters, and we will correct for the air pressure and temperature, okay? Weather is going to change the impact of your bullet. It's going to go up or down. That's why I put this bar here. It's exactly one click tall and every little change will see the bullets landing either above or below. But what you need to understand that all change, even though the statement is going to push the bullet up or down holds true, not all change is going to be sufficiently large to affect the impact. Okay? Five A2 plus one. Now, in case you didn't understand the task at hand, I'm going to shoot at the bar at 582 meters. I have corrected for the relevant weather. And this shot basically requires absolutely perfect fundamentals. And I will try to hit the bar. Now the bar is six centimeters tall, and that is 600 meters or 582, 0.1. Emerald tall target. Now, you build your position just as you would at 100 meters. And all of that nonsense you've seen on the internet and being as low as possible, no. You 
bring the rifle up to you and to the position where you rest and where your muscles are basically doing nothing. Find the target and once you're on, close your eyes, open. It's not on the same spot, is it? And straighten off the body. Now, there's a fair amount of roots and uneven things. It is not a good place to lie. This is field shooting. Pulling the rifle back. Fairly close. Ooh. That's into the same hole. Okay, I can't really do better than that because if I click one down, I'm going to be underneath the yellow bar. Ah! I wasn't recording. Now oh, I forgot to press record on the trigger cam, so I'll have to do that again. So there's going to be some mirage and the image quality, which you will be seeing now, is not going to be as good as it's supposed to be, okay? So again, find the target, aim where you want to hit, close your eyes, check natural point of aim. If it's not on the same spot, you move your whole body, okay? So that was on the yellow bar. Was right above the bar. Small change in the wind. And that's six shots through a silencer. I don't think I'm going to do better than that. It isn't the range, but it's a target size that matters for a hunter. A hit here is a good kill. A hit anywhere here could be a big problem. The learning process would be a bit slow if you focused only on the vital area. That's why I also have this white piece here so you can see what type of errors you do, make an analysis and trying to make only the perfect hit. So for this season, this will be a hit and this here is going to be a miss. Now I ran out of time so I'm just going to shoot a few shots now at the reactive target. That's made by Tom Targets in the UK. Very glad he was just willing to put up with me and make a custom target to my measurements. Tom Targets, shout out there. Didn't sponsor me in any way, but I really like, I hope I like the project. We're going to see if it's going to do anything for the quality of these films. So, straighten up. Bring the rifle up to you. Check natural point of aim, that's awful. Move the whole body. Closing. A lot better. Now, 90 degrees, placing the trigger, getting the hand in, pulling the rifle back, Gripping the rear bag, thumb and forefinger on the rifle, breathe, out, hold. So that was a miss wind. Perhaps a bit more talk, less talking. Look around.
Really need to get better on this. Okay, I think we'll call it a day here. That was a beautiful target, very nice presentation. And you're getting what I'm saying about being relevant or not. See ya. Subscribe to the THLR channel by clicking the left logo icon so you'll be shooting straighter than a drunk skunk before the sun shines over northern Norway.